Hey kids, Tavi Rider here. While doing my piston science video, I noticed a very interesting and unique property of pistons, and that is that they can break a redstone connection instantly. Now, I've abused that to make something I'm calling instant wire. Now, before I show you how it works, let me show you the problem that I'm trying to solve. This is a very long redstone line that loops back. Now, normally it would just go off into the distance. I just have it looping back so you can see what happens at the other end. And since redstone can only be powered for 15 blocks, you have to use redstone repeaters or inverters to pass the signal along to the next segment of 15 blocks. That's fine, but it does introduce a delay that can be a problem. So watch what happens when I throw this lever. Watch how long it takes for this bit of redstone to react to that. You can actually see the redstone repeaters updating one by one, and same thing when you unpower it. It takes a long time for that signal to get all the way around. So over here, uh, when you power the instant wire, it also takes a little while for the signal to propagate. It, you can see the pistons deploying one by one. But here's the interesting part. It can break the connection instantly. All the, pa all the pistons move at the exact same time, and this bit of redstone goes out immediately. So again, deploying them all so to complete the connections, and then just watch that little bit of redstone there. It's instant. The piston graphics actually update a little raggedly. Watch what, maybe you can see this in 1080p. They sort of jump around in, in a weird order. That's just graphical. That doesn't affect the redstone at this end. So this is instant wire. You can use it to pass the signal instantly. Uh, you can only use it to pass the downward edge of an edge triggered uh, the downward edge of the signal, so that would be useful for edge triggered devices. Um, this is very useful for things like ALUs, CPUs, memory, where you have to keep things coordinated uh, with the same timing. Uh, maybe you would use something like this when you're lighting a long hallway. You don't want the lights to uh, appear gradually down the hallway, you want it to look like you just threw a light switch and all the lights came on at the same time. Uh, maybe this will be useful for piston contraptions where things have to happen in a certain order. Maybe piston elevators can use something like this. Uh, if you want to pass a signal that goes from unpowered to powered instantly, well, you can put inverters on both ends, the input and the output. It'll introduce a little delay from those two inverters, the, the two torches that are required for that, but it's still much shorter than what it would take if you had redstone repeaters. So one last detail about this. I have been told that this effect of pistons updating instantly is sensitive to your computer speed. Now, I haven't been able to verify this for myself because I have a monster gaming rig. I can record in 1080p with fraps, and they still update instantly. So uh, if people can confirm whether, that, whether this instant wire works for them or not, I would really appreciate it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in my videos, follow me on Twitter. I'm at at TavyRider. I'm also on Google+. Plus. If you search for TavyRider there, you'll find me. And I do uh, announcements of my videos, and I talk with people who, uh, who watch my videos there. So thanks for watching.